2020 has been a horrific year for a lot of people. But if you speak to spiritual people, they'll tell you that this year has actually been a really good one. And that they've been able to get their life together, their relationships are flowing better, everything's going well for them. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about A, what the energy is like with the planets and what's causing all this upheaval, but also how you guys can maintain your balance and get through the rest of this period as well. All that's coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulab Jain, and on this channel, we talk about palmistry as a spiritual tool to help you navigate your life. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, hit subscribe. But we're gonna be talking about the energy of what's been going on in 2020, more from a planetary perspective. And I'm answering one of the questions that you guys left in the comments section. So Mahajana Dasha asked, Hi Sulab, can you make a video about spiritual aspects for let's say the next two years? and also the short-term outlook. I'm interested if it's a good time for spirituality despite the material downturn. Will all this have a good outcome in terms of spiritual growth and awakening of the world population? Vaishnavism says that there will be a small golden age in Kal Yug, which started 500 years ago and will last for 10,000 years. Could the current situation of the world be a breakthrough in the developing of the golden age or is it going the other direction? So that's a great question. Let's talk about this. So first, let's talk about the yugas in like a Hindu context here. There's four yugas, which starts from the golden age, goes all the way to the age of darkness. And in each era of these four, humanity deteriorates and goodwill and spirituality and all these nice things in life, they get worse and worse and worse. Right now we're in Kal Yug, which is the era of darkness. And basically what's going to happen, you'll notice, is humanity is going to deteriorate further and further away from spirituality and the spiritual purpose. We'll be drawn more towards ignorance, which is the philosophy of materialism. So if you'll notice how the trend of the world is, it's towards more and more materialistic measures. So what Mahajan is asking here is, is there going to be a spiritual upliftment taking place? The answer to that is yes, in a very big way. But this isn't like a unique one-off thing that's going to be happening now. This is actually part of a 30-year cycle. And the energy that's creating all this upheaval right now is the planet Saturn that's sitting in Capricorn. In fact, it entered into Capricorn at the very start of 2020. And so for most of that year, it's going to cause a great deal of pessimism because that's what Saturn does. For most of 2021, however, Jupiter is going to come into this sign. And when that happens, it's going to create optimism. And then in 2022, or for most of 2022, Jupiter will leave that sign, leaving Saturn in here all by itself, creating another pessimistic year. So we go from a bad year to a good year to a bad year. So right now we're one year into a three year cycle. But let's have a look at this in terms of cycles, in terms of something that repeats every 30 years. Because that's how long it takes for Saturn to go through the zodiac and come back into Capricorn. So if we look back at the year 1990, that was a really pessimistic year for the world. That's when the Gulf War happened. And then in 1991, the USSR dissolved, which was a very optimistic period for the world because that was the end of the Cold War. But in 1993, there was a military coup in Russia. So things went from bad to good to bad once again. And if we go back in time 30 years from there, in 1960 was also the height of the Cold War. There was a Cuban Missile Crisis and a range of other problems that almost completely ended humanity. But in the immediate aftermath of that, there was the Kennedy era optimism. And only one year after that, after Kennedy was assassinated, in China they had the Great Leap Forward, which ended up killing somewhere from 20 to 40 million people. And then 30 years before then was 1930, which was when the Great Depression happened. Though technically that started in September of 1929, so there's a little bit of a rounding off error here. Then there's a stock market rebound in 1931, and in 1932 to 33, Hitler came to power in Germany, and we all know how that ended. So you guys can see this 30-year cycle at play here. Bad year, good year, bad year. 
Right now, at the end of 2020, we're leaving the first bad year. Then we get a sense of optimism over most of 2021. Then 2022 is a horrible year, I'm afraid, for the whole world. But let's look at this more from the Vaishnavite perspective, which is what Mahajana was asking. There are four Vedas, and they're ruled by Jupiter, Sun, Mercury, and Saturn. Similarly, there are four Yugas, which are ruled by Jupiter, Sun, Mercury, and Saturn as well, in that order. For those of you who know palmistry, you'll know that there are four primary fingers, each with a ruling planet. There's Jupiter, which is the index finger, followed by the Sun, followed by the Mercury finger, followed by the Saturn finger. And so when Saturn transits into the zodiac signs on the Saturn finger, that's what creates most of this disruption. That's why this year feels so funny. Because, you see, there's three ways to balance your karma. You can do it through hard work and suffering, which is what Saturn does to you. You can do it through education or wisdom and meditative insight, which is how Jupiter releases your karma. Or you can do it through the sun, which is by being born and experiencing your karma being released or accumulated. Right now, we've got Saturn and Jupiter releasing a lot of the karma of the world. And in this case, or the case of this cycle, it's going to completely disrupt the financial sector. So again, coming back to what I was saying before, finances is the philosophy of materialism. The people who believe that all there is in life is money, they're the ones who are going to get brought down a notch. But those who follow Jupiter's wisdom about spirituality and enlightenment, they get brought up. And that's the trend over this three-year cycle. So as long as you guys keep your focus on spirituality, you should be just fine. Now, if you guys have any questions on this, put them in the comment section below because I love getting questions on spirituality. Thanks a lot.